Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how to download Magic Lantern and install it onto your Canon EOS camera. So let's uh, hop over here to the computer and get started. Okay everyone. Now the official page from Magic Lantern is www.magiclantern.fm and like I said this is the official homepage for Magic Lantern and, it, uh, and this will be the first page that comes up it'll tell you a little bit about it what it is if you click over here on features it'll tell you, you know, more about each feature individually let's click over to downloads now one of the first thing you'll notice when you get to downloads is you don't see the stable release at the top of the screen anymore this is something they've recently changed and this is really really confusing and uh, it tells you that there's nightly builds or browse source code and you're wondering well where's the stable version which is version 2.3 and uh, but you click over here on it says nightly builds let's go down since we're going to be installing this on our 600D let's click on that one now here's what's confusing it says the latest build it's the nightly one for 2004 October 7th which is today well actually 10 days ago and it's click, click on download however if you go down here it's just installation it says you cannot use this package for first install download the old version 2.3 and install it this was the stable release now what you want to do is click on it and we need to download it ourselves let's be real quick okay everyone that took ridiculously long time for such a small file <laughs> let's click on the file here and open it up and here are our magic liner files and user guide and everything and what we want to do is open up our area right here which is the root folder and download or just drag those over there not download And that puts it on our, you know, SD card. Now I'm gonna back up just a little bit here and go over and show you where it says port and install guide. Now, if you haven't did this before, even though you're watching the video, go here and read this right here. It tells you a lot of things that we have to do. And it says you know, use fully charged Canon battery original, not third party. Well, tough uh, candy because uh, <laughs> I only have you know aftermarket batteries. My original Canon bar battery for this camera died a while back, and plus I like high capacity batteries. Anyway, uh, remove any accessories. No big deal. Make sure you have a card reader. Uh, I have a Mac, so it's card reader in the back of the computer double check your Canon firmware I've already did that rotate your mode dial over to manual position now the reason it says that is because if you're in any other position uh, except for TV and, and, and uh, AV mode which is the aperture priority and time priority uh, they'll also show it but it just says put it in manual position that way you can actually see the firmware update and it says it's recommended to restore your camera back to you know default settings. I've done that also. Uh, that's really optional. But if it gives you any problems, try that first. And of course, it says format the uh, card in the camera. Low level format. We've done that. Unzip all the uh, files to the root of your card. we just done that. You can still see there it's in the root now. So you'll see the DCIM in the miscellaneous folder within the 
and all your other files will be in there with it. This is the root part of that uh, SD card. And what we'll do is we'll launch the firmware update. I'll show you how to go into that. And it basically you put it in, let it blink a few seconds, and go to install. And when everything's in done, you should see a green confirmation uh, screen telling you to restart your camera. And if anything goes wrong, go to troubleshooting section. And a few other little things. But right here, like I said this is the install guide. If you have any issues, go back to here. But we shouldn't, so let's close this out. Eject our card. And try, try to install it on the camera here. Okay, everyone. Uh, I bet you had some issues. It turns out the 64 gigabyte SD card I was going to use will not work. Uh, not even installing. Uh, even tried to use it after installing Magic Lantern, and it still, for some reason, would not work. So I have a 32 gigabyte card here that I've put Magic Lantern on and uh, installed it. But I'm going to step you through the same process again anyway. We put a card in. Battery's fully charged. It's on manual. And let's turn her on. Okay. Now, you want to hit set right here. And that says I already have Magic Lantern installed. But what you do is you go ahead and click OK. And hit enter. Now, I've already got this done. But if everything works correctly, it should say install a magic lantern. Then within like 10 seconds or so, it restarts, everything's good to go. If it hangs, immediately open this pain in the butt bottom down here. It's hard for my fingernail to get under. Battery and pull the battery out. Uh, this little battery door is hard for me to open. But uh, as soon as it restarts, everything should be good. Mine kept saying files missing. Uh, I couldn't figure out why. Finally just tried a different card and it worked. I'm not sure why. I even tried re-downloading the files from Magic Lantern. It was still giving me problems. But hey, you I guess you learning process here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got it installed and, you know, perfectly fine on the 32 gigabyte card. Now I put the uh, files back on the 64 gigabyte because Magic Lantern's website install guide says you can use a 64 gigabyte card. For some reason, it's still not showing, so it's probably my card. Uh, it's supposed to be bootable. It may not have a boot, boot flag turned on, so that's something I'll have to look into. Uh, the software Magic Lantern normally lists is for Windows. I run a Mac, uh, so it's kind of hard to download the software and double check it. But uh, that may have been the issue also with that. Uh, you know SD card but I have 32 big gigabyte card installed and it works perfectly good let's go ahead and I'm gonna click on menu and I turn it off get back to the screen here now what you do to access magic lantern after you've got it installed is hit the little waste can bucket now this is not a button that's not used at any other time unless you're viewing a picture and it still works the same when you're viewing pictures but you hit the waste can and you go through here and it got many different options you can turn on and off. And it's fairly simple. Hit it again to get back to normal screen. Uh, I believe if you hit info, you get some few extra options if you go in and turn them on. I don't have anything turned on yet. Just had this installed for the past you know, few minutes here. But that was the issue I was running into. Uh, from reason other than my 64 gigabyte you know Samsung Pro card did not want to let me install or use it after I've installed Magic Lantern. That's something I'll have to keep looking into, but that's it. It's fairly simple to download and install Magic Lantern. Uh, like I said, if you're running into problems, immediately eject the battery because it will damage your uh, ca uh, camera. Also, I mean, I've had this camera for five years or so now, uh, right after they came out. So mine's past warranty anyway. But if you do have a new camera, uh, keep in mind that this installing this could possibly void your warranty. Now this doesn't install anything into your camera. Remember it resides on the SD card. 
and to simply uninstall Magic Lantern to simply just reformat your card. It's that simple. But if, you know, like I said, it does uh, has the potential to void your warrants. So keep that in mind. And but that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and this tutorial. And see you next time. Hey everyone, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button down below at the bottom. Also, don't forget to leave comments. I always look forward to everyone's comments on knowing what you like about the video and what I can do to improve them. But most importantly, if you like this type of video and enjoy this type of content, you know, hit the subscribe button. Subscribing is the best way to let me know that you like these videos and you want to see more. And when we get done, you know, hit the button and check out my website. If you want to learn more about X-Test Photography, the blog website is the best place to go. Thanks everyone.